Hey pandas, Halloween is right around the corner and a Boohoo Onion and Carrie Carrot Cake want to get dressed up for Halloween. So let's customize them. We are going to turn Boohoo Onion into a ghost. To do that, we are going to need a white paint and a black paint. To get started, I am using some acetone and I am removing Boohoo Onion's little eyes so that way I can get a clear coverage of paint. So using a very thin brush, I am going to paint a white wiggly line at the bottom of Boo Hoo Onion's um, body and I'm going to leave her foot exposed because I am really loving the thought of Boo Hoo Onion dressed up like a ghost Kind of like when you're a kid and you dress up like a ghost so you put a sheet over your head. Well, that's kind of what I want Boohoo Onion to look like. So we are going to leave her feet exposed because that's usually how it is in real life. So now that I have the like wiggly line down at the bottom, I'm just kind of going to go in there and thicken it up, define it a little bit more. And then I'm going to switch over to the big brush and I'm going to coat her completely with white paint all the way up. Again, leaving her cute little feet exposed so she looks just like a trick-or-treater um, boohoo onion as a ghost. Love it. So I am just finishing up here with coat one. And once you have all of coat one on, you do need to put it aside, let it dry, and then we'll go ahead and put a second coat of white paint on here to give her full coverage. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Halloween is one of my favorite holidays and I really don't know what I'm gonna be this year. I'm gonna have to figure it out soon, but these Shopkins, they wanted to dress up too. So here she is, all covered with paint. And I have a surprise for you guys. We are going to make Boohoo Onion a glow-in-the-dark Shopkin. So I am using that uh, Tulip Glow-in-the-dark. It's actually fabric paint. And I am going to just you know, squirt it directly onto Boohoo Onion. And then I'm going to use my paintbrush, a clean, dry paintbrush, to even out the fabric paint. And then we are gonna have to set this aside and let it dry. This fabric paint will take a couple of hours to dry. It is not like the acrylic paint that dries really fast. You do gonna, you will have to give it a couple of hours. And so once it's all dry, it'll look just like this. You can't tell that it's on there. It just looks white, but I have a surprise for you at the end of the video. But now let's get Boohoo Onions face on. So we are going to give her a um, circle face so it looks like she's saying boo with just her little mouth open like that. And I'm just using a very, 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 very fine brush using my black paint painting directly on the glow in the dark paint that we put on there earlier. And now I am going to do the eyes. And very carefully with a steady hand, I'm going to draw a um, like three quarters of a circle and I'm going to leave the middle part open because I wanna do both of the eyes together kind of like when you cut into a sheet, I'm going for that look. And we are going to make the other side of the other eye. Just like that. Let me go over this, make it a little thicker, and then I'm going to close the eye like that. So there we have both of Boohoo Onion's eyes, well, the beginning of them. So again, taking my black, I am going to draw in her eyeballs here like the whole entire eyeball. I want her eyes just to look, I want her eyes to look just like a Shopkin. So Shopkins have um, 
Oh, well, you know what? Let's put some eyebrows on. So I'm going to give her like some surprise eyebrows. Like she's scaring somebody. So I am putting her eyebrows pretty high up. Making them look like they're surprised eyeballs. I mean eyebrows. Like that. And we are going to put a, a white dot in the middle of her eye. Just like Shopkins have. And it wouldn't be a Shopkin if it didn't have eyelashes. So we are going to go in here and paint some eyelashes directly on Boo Hoo Onion. This is the final step for her. She is just about done. I am loving her in her new costume. What do you guys think? Does she look super cute or what? All right. So I'm going to put this aside and let her face dry completely. Now it's time for Franken cake. And to turn Carrie Carrot Cake into Frankenstein, I am using this folk art bright green paint. Um, and here she is, all ready to get dressed up for Halloween. And just like I did earlier on Boohoo Onion, I'm going to remove Carrie Carrot Cake's eyes using acetone, which is a strong nail polish remover. So make sure you get your parents' help for that part. And again, I do that so that way I can get complete coverage of paint when I'm putting it on. So to get started with Carrie Carrot Cake's transition, I am completely covering her head to toe in this bright green paint. And it goes on pretty well since she has like grooves in her. Uh, it does a really good job of, you know, the paint does a good job of sticking to Carrie. So here's the first coat. And I am going to go in and put in a second coat to give it complete coverage 100%. Um, no more of that brown peeking through. Solid green. Super adorbs. I love it. And don't forget to paint the bottom. And here she is. Super cute. Now it's time to do the hair. So Frankenstein's signature hair is kind of like um, spiky hair all the way around, like a flat top haircut. So to do to give her that Frankenstein look, I am taking a really, really small, very fine, very short brush, and I am drawing like little V's all along the entire top edge of Carrie to give her a really cool hairline. And this black paint is very dark, very bold. So you really only need one coat of this. You do not need two coats of black. And you can just go in and make those V shapes um, as deep as you want them to be. Again, if you're gonna make one, these are yours. You can do whatever you want to this. It can look however you want it to look. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. I know that yours is going to come out perfect because everybody's different, right? So everybody's is going to come out a little bit different too. And just like that, there we go. I had a, I was struggling a little bit with that front. I couldn't get the little V's to look right. Um, but that's okay. I just I went back in. You can easily go back in and fill in um, the space on the V's with the black. No big deal. And we're just gonna work our way all the way around Carrie Carrot Cake, who's gonna transform into Franken Cake. Spooky. <laughs> okay, so we're almost done with the outline of Frankenstein's hair. And once the outline is completely done, guys, grab a big brush to make things faster and completely fill in the top of Carrie's head to give her hair, just like this. So cute. J with just putting on the hair, you like instantly know that this is Frankenstein. It looks so cute. So there she is. Now we are going to work on the face. So we are going to give her her original looking eyes, which are kind of like a squinty eye sort of. So to do this, we are going to put one arch on this side 
and then an arch on the second on the other side and I am actually you know what I don't know well that's where I'm gonna start it but I'm gonna turn it upside down because it's a little bit easier to do it this way so let's get the second arch in there uh, like that All right, there it goes. And then we are just gonna draw up like a half circle to make her eye. Super easy. And turn it over and get the other side. Okay. There we go, half a circle, just like that. And I'm just gonna go through here and kind of make these lines just a little bit bolder, a little bit thicker. And there's her cute little like half squinty eyes. And I am gonna put on her signature Shopkins eyelashes. So I'll put those in the corner there, just like that. And sometimes it's just easier to get that other eye by flipping it upside down. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, I'm being careful not to touch her hair because it is actually still wet. The black hair is still wet. Now I've switched over to a white paint. And I am going to fill in about half of this um, to be the white portion of her eye. Like the actual eyeball itself. So I'm gonna do that to both sides. And, oh, I'm just gonna put a little bit more in here. And again, turning it upside down and getting the second port, the second eye, uh, filling it in with some white. And just to let you guys know, I do have my Shopkins um, super glued, I mean not super glued, hot glued onto a pen or a pencil because it makes it a lot easier to customize them when you can move them freely like this without actually touching them. Awesome, her eyes are coming out awesome. Now I've switched back to my black paint and I'm filling, uh, filling in the second half of her eye with black. And I'm trying to get like a rounded edge on the black so it looks like the actual inside, like the actual eyeball itself. And we'll switch back over to white and just dot in her little actual middle of her like eye. I think it's called like the cornea if I'm not mistaken. So we'll get that in there and she looks so cute i am loving this this is so stinking cute now i've switched over to some red paint just a little bit of red paint and we are going to just fill in the mouth that was actually already there we're not making a different mouth this is the exact same mouth that came on the shopkin itself and look at her oh my gosh Carrie Carrot Cake as Frankenstein, how adorbs. What I'm gonna do here is give her a signature Frankenstein stitches. So, you know, Frankenstein always has these stitches on his forehead because we all know that he was um, stitched together. And I'm giving, I'm giving her that exact same stitch on her forehead. How cute is this? Oh my gosh, I love it. What do you guys think? Now, the last thing that Frankenstein's missing are the bolts on the side of his head. Everybody knows that Frankenstein has um, bolts coming out the side of his head. And to give her that exact same look, I am using metallic fabric paint. This one's from Tulip. And I am just painting directly on to the temple, the side temple of Carrie Carrot Cake. And I am leaving lots of paint on there and kind of stacking it on itself, swirling it like an ice cream cone and giving her the look of the bolts on the side of her head. Oh my gosh. And here they are. Here is Carrie Carrot Cake as Franken Cake. And I think she came out super cute. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you think that Carrie Carrot Cake looks super cute as Frankenstein. And here we have Boo Onion 
as a ghost. Ooh, spooky. And let's show you. Whoa. Here is the ghost. And you can clearly see that she definitely glows in the dark. I am going to turn the lights out for you guys one more time. That glow in the dark paint is fabulous. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you click that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed, you want, might want to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, little pandas. Until next time.